I'm not sure if anyone would be super interested in this video, but I thought that it would serve as a nice resource and hopefully like some inspiration for you because recently I would say probably 80 to 85% of my shoe collection is secondhand now, which is great. I'm trying to make as much of my wardrobe secondhand as possible. And I found that I've had a lot of luck recently with secondhand shoes. Lately, I've just been getting really into shoes. I don't know. It's like something that I've discovered during quarantine that I can't wait to do again is like dress up my outfits with fun shoes. I mean, who knows if I'll actually end up doing that. I'll most likely still just wear the same thing. But I thought it might be a fun and interesting video for you because you can see what I look for when shopping for secondhand shoes. Obviously you can't buy the same things, but hopefully I can give you like some tips to use along the way. So I'm gonna go through each of them. We'll try them on. I'll tell you how much they were, where I got them. And then hopefully it will inspire you to wanna buy some secondhand shoes of your own. I don't know. Or maybe you're just bored and wanna hang out with me. Let's do it. Before we go any further, I just wanna say a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Adam and Eve. And because I'm trying to look out for you whenever I can, Adam and Eve is offering you an amazing promo. If you go to adamandeve.com and use the code Dayton, you can get 50% off one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions may apply. They have 24 hour customer service, 90 day no hassle returns and more. So make sure you check the link in the description box below and check it out. So the three main online retailers that I use to get my shoes may come as no surprise, but it's Poshmark, Depop, and ThreadUp. I love all three of these for different reasons. Poshmark I love because I love the interface of the app so much. It's super easy to use. But the downside of Poshmark is that sometimes a lot of the stuff can be really, really dated. Like really ugly stuff on there. But utilizing the search tool, which I mentioned a lot in my video, like a few videos back where I talked about my how to thrift online, like come online thrifting with me, utilize every single feature in the search options. Filter by size, by color, type specific styles you're looking for, like anything you can filter down is gonna be your best friend because you're so much less overwhelmed and intimidated by the options. And then second is probably thread up. I know a lot of people have feelings about thread up and trust me, I hear you, but I personally love ThreadUp. This video is not sponsored by them. I have worked with them in the past. I will work with them again in the future. I think they have amazing options, especially if you are like me and you're trying to shop fast fashion less as often as you can. You can find a lot of name brand things on there. You can find a lot of coupon codes that are available. I like the search filtering options. The downside is that sometimes it can be a little bit pricey, but also it's a resale website. So to compare it to like a Goodwill or a Savers isn't really exactly fair because Goodwill and Savers are getting all of their clothes by donation, whereas ThreadUp is buying these clothes. So like similar to a Play-Doh's closet or a secondhand store where you are taking in your items and they're buying them back from you, you're obviously not going to get a lot of money back and then they're going to resell it at a profit. That's how it works. Depop is my least favorite, but definitely still one that I use a lot. I like Depop because there's more trendy items, but the downside is that Depop is incredibly overpriced. Like I think it's probably the most overpriced of any of them. And also there's no regulations from Depop as far as a time limit that a seller has to ship the item. So for example, on ThreadUp, they're gonna ship it within a couple days. On Poshmark, I believe they have like seven days to ship the item. And if you don't get your item on Poshmark, you have the option to cancel and you can get your money back. Whereas on Depop, it's, Sometimes that can happen, but it, you kind of have to go down a rabbit hole where you like harass the seller to ship your item. Oftentimes they don't ever ship it and then you have to contact Depop and you have to go, there's like not as much in place to protect the buyer on Depop. So yeah, anyways, random side note tangent. Those are the three that I use, love and recommend. Just thought I would get that out of the way to hopefully give you a little bit of insight as to what you're going to be looking at going into this haul. I thought I would start off for the first category with the sort of most classic thing. I would say that no matter what, this is like my tried and true staple. I've been wearing a variation of this type of shoe since, I mean, kindergarten. It started with Keds when I was younger, a child of the 90s, if you will, and it has now graduated to basically any kind of platform white sneaker. I'm obsessed. So we're going to talk about the white sneaker. I have two secondhand pairs. The first pair, I bought this probably over the summer last year. So maybe June, July, 2020 ish. And it is this sort of like, I guess, I mean, it's still white to me, but it is slightly off white, but it's this pair of platform, just canvas sneakers. It says, 
says right here that this is by Madden Girl, but I don't like this does sort of seem like a knockoff. I found these on Poshmark. I want to say they were like $15, very affordable. They also came brand new. They had never been worn or at least they'd only ever been tried on before. I've only worn them a couple times. They're extremely comfortable. They're maybe like a half size too big, but I honestly love them. I think that they're just going to be really nice shoes to walk long distances in, like when I'm walking around if we're taking a stroll at the park or if, you know, someday I go back to Disneyland. <laughs> I'm holding on for that day. The next pair is a pair of like tried and true Carrie favorites. I've had the high top version of this, the low top, the platform, the not platform, and that is a good old pair of Converse. I am a Converse ride or die gal. I've actually had this exact pair, which by the way, this is the low top platform version of just like the Converse All Stars. I found these on where did I find these? I got these on Poshmark. Okay, just verified. I found these on Poshmark. They were $40, which typically I think they're about $70 brand new, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of times when I find these shoes, they are priced pretty high for secondhand. That's just something I think that comes along with buying secondhand these days is we've gotten so used to thrift store prices. So like Goodwill, Sabres, etc. And we're used to a pair of shoes being like $3, but really it's like if you're trying to save a little bit of money, but also you're more focused on the sustainability aspect, then I'm, I'm willing to pay a little bit more. It's still less than full price. And these are in great condition, like nothing wrong with these except one tiny little scuff on the back here. And I saved like 30 bucks, you know? So I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, these are great, fit great. I've had an exact pair like these, but I wore them to the point where they were like black. Got a new pair. I got these probably only a couple weeks ago. So these are pretty new in my collection and I'm really happy. I love these. Next category, I'm going to do like loafers slash mules. Starting with a pair of, I think these are mules, I think God, I don't know. I'm pretty sure these are called braided mules, but I think I showed these in a Depop haul back in probably like September, October of last year. I've only gotten to wear these a couple of times. I really kind of like have my mind set on wearing these with a sort of more cut off, like wide leg pair of jeans, like a pair of black jeans. These are originally from ASOS. They're a size nine, by the way, in case you're wondering, I'm like an eight, eight and a half, nine. I can kind of wear any of those. There's a little bit of wear and tear on the inside as you can see, but honestly, it doesn't bother me at all because your foot covers it and it doesn't bother my foot when I wear it. And these were $5. Now that's a thrift store price. Very comfortable. I look forward to wearing these more. And then a similar pair that I believe I also showed in a fall-esque haul recently is this pair. Now I had been eyeing a pair like this from, I wanna say like Madewell or something like that. And something is telling me that they were like $130. I love Madewell, but sometimes I'm like, what are you doing with those prices? What are you doing? So I found this pair. They're originally by the brand called Cupid. They're extremely comfortable. I wore these with a similar thing, like a, a more kind of cut off pair of jeans. And I want to say these were like $23. I don't know how much they would be brand new. These were like never worn before. You can tell when you get them. So I mean, 23 bucks for a pair of shoes that are secondhand, so better for the environment. And also, not $130 from Madewell, but that look pretty much identical and I love them. And then for a pair of loafers, this is actually my most recent purchase and my biggest splurge, if you will. These are also by the brand Cupid. Oddly enough, I didn't even pay attention to that. And these are a platform loafer. Now come on. These are around like $160 on Urban Outfitters. I don't know if they're this exact brand, but this one is pretty similar and just so, so cute. These are obviously used, but this, ah, do I want to say it? This was definitely a case of me being a sucker for like a teenager charging me <laughs> three times what the pair of shoes is actually worth. But I really wanted them and they were sold out in my size everywhere else, so I bought them. I'm not gonna say how much. It was under $100, but I'm happy with them. I'm gonna probably get years and years and years of wear out of these. And yeah, Depop, they do be playing with you sometimes, you know, but it's just part of Depop culture, I feel like. For the next category, this might be a little boring to some, but I thought I would show you because I typically get my workout shoes from Poshmark and Depop and thread up as well. Like I find that I don't really wanna spend like 75 to $100 on a pair of running shoes that are probably only gonna last me like a year or two. So I try to find them secondhand as much as I can. And I found two pairs that I really, really love. This first pair is, they're actually both from Nike, but this one I believe is called the Roche. 
Roche. I think this is called a Nike Roche. And I've had these now for probably well over a year. And these are my go too. They were a lot cleaner when I first got them. They were definitely used. I sanitized them. I think I actually ended up washing these in the washing machine, but these are, I think, originally like $85 and I got them for $20. Like someone had just decided they didn't want to wear them anymore or they didn't fit or they wanted to make some money or whatever. They have almost like a, like a foamy type of sole, which I really like. They're extremely, extremely light, which is great. So since I had such good luck that first time, I was like, let me try again with a pair of white shoes because I have, you know, different color workout clothes. As you know, if you saw my girlfriend collective videos, then you know I have a little bit of a problem. I got these last July. So I've been wearing them for almost a year now and these were $35. These are a Nike free run shoe. Nike free runs are anywhere from like 60, 65, upwards to like $100. And I got these for more than half off. So that's pretty great. So I just thought I would let you know that, you know, these two have been like my tried and true faves. I've had zero issues with them whatsoever. They weren't dirty. They didn't smell. I just made sure to like look really closely and make sure that they were like clean-ish, you know, before I purchased them. And I got two pairs for the price of one new, but like it was better for the environment and better for my wallet overall. So definitely happy with those. Highly recommend checking out online thrift retailers if you are on the market for workout shoes because I found some great ones. Next up, we have booties. I only have one pair of thrifted booties that I'm aware of. I feel like there's more, but I have this pair, which I've actually been in love with recently. I found these on ThreadUp probably, I would say like fall time of last year and I actually have gotten to wear these a bit. I wore these when I got my hair done recently and you know I don't leave the house very often so the fact that I had the opportunity to dress in a cute outfit was very exciting for me. So I wore these with like a cute little sundress like a little sun mini dress and it was such an adorable look. I love that they have more of a square toe. They also just are in great condition overall like I've worn these. I wore these for like eight nine hours or something like that and they don't even look like they've been worn. They have a nice little zip. They're not too small like or too narrow for my calves. Like my calves and the top of my ankles just they're thick. She's a thick lady. And so I definitely run into issues with that sometimes with boots, but I've had no problems with these. These are by the brand Easy Spirit. I got these for, I wanna say 20.99, and then I'm pretty sure I had a coupon code as well. So even more discounted than that. And just like, yeah, I mean, can't say enough good things about them. Super versatile pair of shoes. You can wear them with jeans, skirts, dresses. They can look a little more boho if you want, a little more chic if you want gotta love them. Okay, I promise we are on the last category now, and the last category is going to be sandals. We're thinking summer shoes now. I actually have a new pair that I got recently, so I guess I will show this pair first, but this just reminded me so much of like early Y2K days when we used to wear these types of sandals, and this is by the brand Soda, which again, just feels very Y2K for me. They're super, super comfortable, even though they're a very tall shoe. I think because the platform is so thick, they're really comfortable to walk in. I have a pretty wide foot and they fit me really well. I love these. Next, we have a pair that I haven't gotten to wear yet, but that I'm very excited about. And these are originally from Urban Outfitters, it says. And these are like an adorable sort of lace up, almost espadrille type of sandal. And I mean, come on on. These have like a little kitten heel, but like a square low heel, which is like, this is my ideal heel height. I want it to be a little bit lifted because I just want that little like, you know, but I also don't want my foot to be crying and my foot to be in this position all day. It's just not comfortable for me, but this is like very wearable, very comfy. I want to say these were originally like $50 at Urban Outfitters and I got them on Poshmark for $40. So I mean, a little bit off and these have definitely never been worn before, like super brand new condition. I mean, I've worn them around my kitchen, but. And if you are ever either conflicted with like a brand personally or looking for a more trendy item, definitely try to find it secondhand because sometimes you can find things still in brand new condition like maybe someone bought them wanted to return them but like didn't in time so they're trying to just make a little bit of their money back so yeah really happy to have these okay and last but not least I'm gonna show you what a, a kind of fail situation looks like because I just absolutely did not do well with this this choice this is definitely part of shopping secondhand for shoes and just in general but it's something to keep an eye out for um, don't be afraid to ask questions don't be 
be afraid to message the seller. Don't be afraid to ask for more photos. And that is the mistake that I made for these. So when you look at these shoes from far away, they're like a nice pair of grayish, whitish shoes. They look white on camera, but in person, they're more of like a light gray. And I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, these are like a clueless moment. These are so adorable. And the seller did mention that there was like a little bit of wear and tear, but in the photos, they looked a lot better than they do in person. In person, they're pretty crusty, I'm not gonna lie. There's just a lot of like peeling happening. Can you even see that? The shoe's kind of coming undone. There's like dirt and crusty stuff underneath. There's a bunch of scuffs on the shoes that weren't pictured that I could see. Not the worst ripoff of my life, but they were $30 and I mean, they're kind of falling apart. I definitely think that these are wearable and that's the thing, like, you know, the, the little insole or whatever you call it is peeling off. It needs to be glued and like repaired a little bit. These shoes definitely need repairing. So I would have maybe sold these for $5, um, but the way that they were presented and styled and photographed, they looked kind of brand new. So I'm a little sad, but they're cute shoes. So maybe I'll like put some TLC into them and clean them a bit. I'm also just disappointed because they're definitely not white. So it just goes to show it's not a hit every single time. You can definitely have some misses, which I have in the past, but overall I'm really happy with where my shoe collection is at. I feel so much better buying these shoes secondhand. It's been really fun to kind of play around, add in new styles, and I've just really enjoyed it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. If you happen to have any online secondhand shoe recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments below, share your secrets, let us all know if you have a Depop or a Poshmark or anything else you want to plug, definitely leave it down below as well. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.